So it's like a version of the Hall of Fame. Now this is insane, bro. I'm, I'm super excited to see what we have in here. Look at these gloves. These resemble MMA gloves. That's insane. 1975. No fingertips in the cold. All right. These are actual cleats. Puma. Wow, you're right. God. Okay. Brandon McDaniel is the man. Yeah, I think I had one of his trading cards when I was a kid. Yeah. Obviously, John Randall, Chris Carter, yeah. Got me a throwback Randy Moss jersey. Yeah. So I had to have one of those. This is insane, man. Johnny was an undrafted player from Division Two. I know, West Texas. Yeah, Texas. Yeah. I read all the stories, how he was underweight and used to have like weights in his yeah, pants. Put, put yeah, I don't have that problem, but <laughs> I remember when Brett Favre came here, that was a big deal. Moon. I did not know Tony Dungy coached here. I'm assuming this goalpost has some significance, yeah, that's right. right? The Met Stadium, where the Mall of America. The Mall, where the Mall of America is? Yep. Oh. Is where Met Stadium is at. You can see the baseball infield. It was the Twins and Vikings home. So uh, actually, in the mall, there's a plaque by where home plate was. I'm going to have to walk through there. Yes. Yeah. I remember when that happened. That was yeah. all over yeah. ESPN. Yeah. Yeah, y'all started playing at uh, University of Minnesota Stadium, right? We finished that season at the University of Minnesota. Wow. So this is a material? Yeah, it was the material, yeah. Supported by air. Yeah. So y'all pumped air into the stadium? Yep. And that's what kept it up? Yep. So like, what about a Wednesday and nothing's happening? Would the roof be down or y'all just continuously pumped air? So y'all power bill was like a bazillion dollars. So, like I said, I only played in here once, 2017. That's the retractable part, right? That's insane, bro. Percy Harvin, I had a lot of good days on Madden because of him. Of course, AP. Yeah. These, these helmets trip me out, man. Godly. I'm, I'm, I need to buy that, actually. Are they prepared to sell this to me today? Is that serious? Yeah, yeah, no, like, dude, I literally collect jerseys from like all kinds of stuff, so I need that. Can you ship that to Birmingham? We can probably figure it out for you. All right. Yeah. So, no, I, I for sure want that. The, the page one? Yes. Okay. Yes. I need a, I need a piece of the Vikings at the crib, so this would be great to add to the collection. So, no, I actually don't have room to display all my jerseys. So, I got the Shack one at a Heat family auction. Earl Campbell, I found that online. I have a ton of stuff, it's terrible. Mike Tyson shorts, Floyd Mayweather shorts, Deontay Wilder, he's Alabama Hammer. It can go on and on. And your seat. Awesome. Uh, we'll pack it all up, we'll get it set up, and then we'll work with you guys to then ship it out. That's a bet. Ah. This is not for TV. I actually want this and I have a vast collection. I'm a historian of the game, but this takes it to a whole nother level. Um, it's rare that, I don't know any other NFL team that has a shrine just for their guys. 26, was that Rod Smith? Yeah, I remember him. He was, he was smooth. He was smooth. You get to feel like you walked in the shoes for a day, so yeah, old cleats, old jerseys, all that kind of stuff is super cool, especially for just a player, but fans who don't get to see and walk and touch all this kind of stuff on a daily basis, I'm sure it's like mind-blowing.